Welcome to DrivenMavens.com. I am Arvin, and uh, we are going to talk about part two of drawing a wheel and a tire. So uh, last lesson on part one, we went through the overview of how to kind of uh, roughly sketch out the, uh, the tire, adding some value and adding some um, quick basic colors and uh, using the you know the value range to kind of distinguish and to um, using that value range to create your your forms and how to interpret those forms and and the best part of using these photo you know photo references is really to kind of um, take a step back look at the photograph and just try to understand where your light source is and uh, um, understand that value spread. Now this part of the uh, the second part we're really going to get into creating uh, finishing off the the uh, the painting which is uh, done in Photoshop and to add some warmth and some highlighted area. So you know I started off here with um, creating another background layer and adding a little bit of a warm tone to it to the entire to the entire uh, layer. So as you see here is that after I've I've added that warm tone to it, I start to come in and start to add a little bit of my highlights to kind of pop uh, some of the uh, the uh, the light that's reflecting off of uh, the center spoke. So I go in and I just start to um, pop out the shape with some of the highlights, and this also kind of creates that that contrast that you're going to be looking for when you're uh, creating your image. There's going to be a little bit of light that's going to catch on the lower portion of the wheel. And then I'm going to go to the top portion where it's going to catch just a, a small portion of the light and take that around uh, the perimeter a little bit. I'm going to go in and then also start to um, lighten up the top portion of the tire where the light hits uh, that top surface of the tire. So I'm just working my way around, defining that shape a little bit, coming around, taking a step back, just kind of looking at the picture making sure that what I'm looking at you know sort of makes sense see where I want to make any adjustments and I start going into uh, some of the formations of the uh, um, of the shapes that are inside of the tire and start to create some highlights in through there And start adding a little bit some of some more shapes that are inside of the wheel. You know, most of that is all going to be in the shadow side, so you don't need to really put a lot of uh, light or anything because you're not really going to see it. <coughs> I'd say, arguably, you know, what I did there at the top, uh, just above the uh, center spoke, is maybe a little bit too too bright. Now we'll keep moving. Okay, I go on going down to the bottom where we see the uh, firestone. And I start to um, add the text. Now, <laughs> you know, I you know all this stuff has been I'm basically doing a uh, um, trying to capture the. Uh, a portion of that text. I'm not going to completely spell out fire, Firestone here, but you're just kind of indicating the uh, uh, the verbiage. Go back in and uh, start to uh, define that. Uh, take a step back, see how well it reads. I think I've kind of got you know most of it. It's not too bad. 
and I'm going to start off roughing in the uh, the ground plane around the tire. Right now you're just blocking in shapes. You don't have to be perfect. You're just trying to block in the shapes, block in the colors. Shouldn't say shapes, there's not much shape to it. I'm <laughs> just trying to ground a little bit. Starting to add the shadow at the bottom of the uh of the car. I'm gonna come in with my white. I'm just kind of um just doing a little estimation there. Kind of hit the tire a little bit, so go back. Control Z. Control Z is the shortcut for erasing, so I do that a lot. <laughs> so now you start blocking your blocking in your uh the top portion of the vehicle. And all I'm using here in Photoshop is just a regular brush. Nothing fancy, nothing texturized. I actually come in and start adding some textures in later. But for now, all I do is just a regular brush tool in Photoshop. Once again, um, the the top of the, uh, the Grand Prix car is going to be a little bit uh, lighter as the light source is on the top. Now I'm just... Um, adding my cut lines you know those cut lines are, are basically the um, top portion of the uh, of the panel that comes off of the vehicle that will, that will reveal the uh, the engine And that's just basically a graphic. Okay. Again, sorry for sorry for being a little silent here. <laughs> just starting to add a little bit more detail. find the shapes in through there. You know, I'm not trying to get too technical here. All I'm doing is just adding some blacks, um, adding some shadow underneath just to pop the shape out a little bit. Get a little uh, quick red stripe. Part of the graphic on the side of the vehicle. Okay, so that's uh, it's not looking too bad. Still got to go in and uh, start adding a little bit more color in through the ground plane. There go. Just kind of indicating the ground and adding the uh, um, the panels for you know for the wood wooden panels on the ground or wooden floors. Just going in at an angle. And I'll start adding more of the shadow next to the tire, at the bottom of the tire. Whoops! Looks like I went a little too far in the shadow, but uh, I can fix that in later. I'm going to keep going. Alright. So there you have it. Um, you know, the next step is uh, what you guys probably uh, haven't shown uh, the complete uh, process, but once, you know, we're, we're finished with this, um, I go in and, and finish it up and, and add some textures and um, add some more color and then some uh, you know, contrasting light 
uh, to finish out the painting. You know, the textures, when I add um, them to a specific layer, they add a little bit more of another dimension and some more depth into the drawing. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, we'll have uh, more tutorials uh, on wheels uh, in the future, uh, drawing wheels in perspective and so forth. So, hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope to see you here again on JimMavens.com. Thanks.